Muslims no, that so God. Muslims say that um, that his attributes are distinct from his from his essence. So that 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 that's a problem with um, yeah. Uh, look, look, look the God is not made out of part because, for example, I don't that, yeah. So, Peter, you said, yeah? yeah? Okay, Peter. Ibn Hazm, my name is. Okay. Now, now, you see, because we say that God, because in the Quran, whatever God attributes to himself, we believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever he negates about himself, we negate. Okay. Uh, also with the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whatever he uh, attributes to Allah, we believe in. It's just because some Muslims say that um, the attributes of Allah are distinct from the uh, are you are, are, are you talking about the Ash'aris, I think, yeah. and the... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Because they, 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 so, they if, you, if you go deeper into it, they're not, yeah. they're not divine simplists. Yeah. No, some... some so you agree with the Thomistic, the Thomistic understanding of God, so that his attributes are identical to his essence? Well, yeah, look, without... Look, for example, you are... If I say to you, you are mighty because you lifted this, yeah. okay? The, get, get me Mansour, please. He's over there, he's over there. No, no, he's not talking. Look. The, the attributes of Allah Jalla wa Ala, yours is created. Yeah, mine is created. Okay. Yeah. Allah's is not created. Yeah, created yeah. So they are not created. So it, they, they are, if he's powerful, that's his essence is also, that his yeah, essence is essence. powerful. Yeah, to, yeah, I, agree, uh, I agree with you because that's, mm. that's, what, um, that's a Thomist um, understanding. Um, because, because I believe that some, um, so, some Muslims believe that. Um, his attributes yeah. are distinct from his essence. Yeah, some so that like the Ash'aris. That would be a problem because then parts, as you say. Yes, yes. But, but you know, so you know, they do something we call ta'wil. Ta'wil, it's called in Arabic, whereby they uh, they say if you say, for example, if you attribute the hand to Allah, yeah. they they go to but. We, for example, we say there is verses in the Quran that says that uh, Allah, uh, Surah chapter 2, it speaks that Allah has got hands. So we say that Allah, we affirm that, we affirm that, that Allah is hands. But no, uh, just allow me, Peter, to, to finish. So, so in, in this essence, in this essence, we say he has got hands. But is it equal to our hands? No, we do yeah, not know. It's in a way that befits Allah. B befits Allah. Oh, that's what so, I heard, yeah. yeah, it is in a way that befits him. However, you get some other movements, like the Ash'aris, for example, yeah, yeah, yeah. they say no. The, the hand it means power. You see what they do? So th they say no, because, because uh, there is a chapter, uh, I think it's 42 or 41, where it says there is nothing like unto him, and he is the all hearing, the all seeing. Yeah. It's just because I've, I've heard some people say that um, his attributes are distinct. And I think I heard, um, yeah, uh, that, that's, that, was just, that was just a problem for me. But yeah, yeah, show I, me. I agree with you, though. Yeah, it's... Uh, Um, I'm at, I'm here, so, I was where I was So, so you wouldn't hold <laughs> So, so yeah, I mean, I mean... Why would you say that the Ash'aris are wrong? The Ash'aris? Yeah. Look. In their interpretation? Yeah, because, because they, they say, we believe, oops, we believe that Allah is above creation. his creation. He's yeah. out from his creation, he's above. But they say they want to do ta'wil on everything. For example, I have given you the, uh, the, 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 the example of the hands. 
Also because, for example, we, we have got a hadith where it says that Allah in the, in the last third of the night, Allah comes down to the first heavens. But we say he comes down in a way that befits his majesty. Yeah. They say no, his, his will is the one that descends, not him. So yeah. they, they, they go against, yeah, yeah. against that. Yeah. No, we say no. Allah, whatever he says about himself, it's in a way, whatever he does about himself, whatever, it's in a way that befits his majesty. So he's, he speaks, but is his speech similar to ours? We do not know. So we say that he speak, he speak and he orders and that in the way that befits his majesty. But as I said to you, they take, they take the attribute or the name and they try to kind of like uh, make it into something else rather than, than affirm that. I but, agree with you in terms of um, the attributes of Allah. Uh, okay. So, 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 so you are a Muslim, uh, you are a Sunni in this no, one, yeah? No, no. I don't know about that. Um, would you believe that Jesus is a Muslim? Jesus was a Muslim. Look, not just Jesus. Not just Jesus. No, I'm talking about Jesus. Yeah, no, no, but uh, you know, in Arabic, I'm an Arab, and yeah. Arabic is so eloquent that uh, uh, you get asked the question, and then you, you give a vast answer. Yeah, because, because I usually hear that, because... Um, Muslim means uh, to submit, submit, submit to submit to, to do Allah. what yeah to Allah. Yes, if you if you talk about that, yes, in Jesus is a Muslim is. Then, because he submits yeah. his will. But if to, we were to look at the um, at what Jesus said in the Gospels, yeah, it would it would uh, contradict that. Because, okay, how um, how? So for example, can can um, uh, can someone be a Muslim and believe that Allah is their father? Well, look, that, that that's a good question. But did 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 father did father was was what uh, you know he, we haven't got for example the Aramaic because in the Aramaic it says Abba, okay Abba. But you know I was uh, I, I was uh, uh, reading for someone who used to be uh, from the uh, Assyrian uh, Assyrian uh, church yeah Church of the East. And he became a Muslim, but he was he was like a bishop with them or something. Now, what he was saying, we, you know, in Aramaic, in Arabic, in Ar yeah, I know, and uh, and like the like the Evangelicals, uh, like Nestor, uh, yeah, the Nestorians, yeah, yeah. like like the the Evangelical, they say that you are heretics because yeah, you believe in the saints and so on and so forth. Yeah, we disagree with them, but we believe that. Assyrian church, no, no, but, but what I'm going to say to you is yeah, different. Yeah. You know, in Arabic, I'll tell you in Arabic, Ab, Ab is father. But the Arab-speaking Christians, they then call Ab. They say Ab, Ab. And Ab, in the old languages, in the old Aramaic and in other, in the Calvinian and others, it means God. It yeah, means we, God. When, when we say, when we believe that you... Because, we because he doesn't speak also, about like. He could have also spoken Greek, though. Yeah, yeah. The, no, no, he, no. Huh? Huh? And because because it was um, and because the so the gospel was written in Greek, we take what that says as being what Jesus said. So when he says Father, when he calls God Father, that would therefore mean that he cannot be a Muslim. Right? Mansour. Fine, Peter. Nice to meet you. Mansour, Mansour, Peter. We were talking on the, we were talking on the attributes of God, and then uh, he's Catholic, and now we have moved to, uh, to uh, we moved to uh, the, the Father. You see, I have I have learned in Arabic, Ab is Father, but the Arab Christians when they want to say Ab, they don't say Ab, they say Ab. And Ab in the old Aramaic and the, in the Chaldean and Assyrian and that, it means God. Okay, I, I don't know. I mean, I probably have to yeah. look into it. But, 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 but this is... Now, what, what, was, what was you, you were saying that... Uh, we, he asked if, if Jesus is a Muslim. I said, yes, he is a Muslim. But he said that the gospel contradicts that. So, how does Jesus being a Muslim contradict it in the gospel? Uh, because can, a, can someone be a Muslim and believe that God is their father? 
And when you say father, so Abraham is called a father of nation. Does that mean you worship Abraham? So father. Yeah, but he's not. Yeah, but he's not referred to as God. So. Abraham is called the father. So father title is oh, not no, descriptive. He, okay. No, no, he is the father of the nations. Yeah, of the nations, but when. So. Yeah, but when he's referring. But, but, um, no, my, my my point is this. Yeah. When Abraham is referred to as the father of the nations. Yeah. But is is. is you don't listen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Peter. My, is, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's is okay. the father Abraham being a father somehow analogous to being God? No. Right, so the title father has nothing to do with being God. Um, but when, um, some it? people say it's a Sorry. name. So, some Christians, they say it's a name. Yeah. Sorry, Peter. But even the title well, father. But, but can, is Allah a father in any sense? Let's understand it. This is a new Christian polemics that you've come across. It wasn't there, you know, a few years ago. But so it doesn't negate the fact no, that... Let's understand something. Yeah. So you've obviously looked into polemics rather than understanding per se. What we're saying is this. There are many names of God. Yeah. Right. How many names of God are you familiar with? I don't know, like um, the Creator, the Almighty, the Lord. Or living. All living or powerful. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so there are many names. So some of these names he has revealed to some people in the past. Yeah. Some of the names he's revealed to our Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon But does that mean these are the old totality of God's names? No. But I've heard that. No, no, let's understand sorry. something. Does that mean the names that Muslims say, like 99, 99 names? Does God have 99 names in reality? Or no. does he have more? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I'm more. Muslim, so according so to, I'm according to Islam. According to Islam, I'm not, I'm not that No, we are now Islam. telling you. So yes, Because me, when you yeah. bring in some things like this, you need to understand when we talk about names and God, yeah, yeah. or names and attributes of God, 99 names are not the entire totality of God's names. But these are special some names that if you memorize them and apply them in your lives, the meaning of it, then the Prophet said that there is a reward of having that uh, internalization of this name. Now, the point is this. Even if God was described as a father to some people, it doesn't mean that God needs to be understood by this name for all people. Because he could, if he want, restrict a usage of a particular name that leads people to into confusion okay. like because of the attribute that the name father has what the christian community has done the virtue of having god being the father they made jesus being the son and there's a father-son relationship so if god is the father and he's god the son who is son being virtue of what? Having no physical father. So you give him God as his, his father. father yeah. And then you make him not that he is the son of the father, but you make him God the son. son. So you elevate him but into his deity. Just, yeah, the son is just um, the second person. The so not, no, no, it's not this. You make, you make a human being into God. You elevate him into God. I wouldn't, I, I, I don't not agree. you personally. That's how, what happened in Christianity. A human being, a prophet, a messenger, has been elevated well, we into he, being we, God. We believe that he claimed to be divine. He claimed, he to, claimed be divine? to be self-sufficient and independent. Omniscient. Human nature would not have been One, one moment, one moment. Is he God at the same time as a human? Yes. Right. So okay. when he speaks, as he speaks as God sometimes, or, or man sometimes. He has two wills, the divine and the right. divine will. So human. when he says, no one knows the hour. That's of his human, human will. That's human nature. Is the human nature, is the will predicated to the nature or to the son? Person? Sorry? Is the will of Christ predicated to the nature, the divine nature, or to the person? The will of, the will of Christ. He has two wills. Is his will predicated to the nature? Or to the Saying person. The will. I'm just, yeah, but there's two wills. We believe there's two Christ and two wills. Yeah, listen to the question. But he's saying the will. I don't know what he's talking about. Which will? The will. The divine will. The divine will. Yeah. So. Is it predicated to the person or to the nature? Do you understand? Okay, let's let's see that. Too complicated. Never mind. Let's leave it. It's very important to understand this point. So when Jesus is mm. claiming to be God, is he claiming as a man or as a divine? His claim. He's divine and a man. No. He's fully, he's fully he's, human, fully God. So when he speaks, is he's he speaks sometimes as a man, sometimes as a divine, or he's always speaking as both at the same time? Is it two natures 
or he speaks uh, the separate nature, like the human nature and then in divine nature, or is it like both natures at the same time? Someone here on this earth, he, according to you, he claims to be God. So is he speaking as a man or is he speaking as a God? He's both because he's, he's got a, a right. So when he says no one knows the hour, which one he was that? He should be speaking as a both. Too. Well, he doesn't have to be speaking. Uh, just be, you, so you take when he's. No, why are you cherry picking? You're one thing, or you're taking one thing and then you're Peter, applying it to another thing. You are so cherry picking now. You are cherry picking. No, I'm not. But you're cherry picking. You're saying um, because no, he's saying I am because saying, he's spoken as. I am saying. Yeah. Be consistent throughout. So which one is it? Does he split himself sometimes as a man when he speaks? Okay, one understanding when you said um, he uh, does not know, he does not know the hour. One understanding is that that's in a declarative sense when he's saying he does not know the hour. Does not mean that he has no, does not have knowledge? Read the complete have, verse. Again, read you've read, read the, the apologetic English. material from Christians, and that's how you're building up your case. Look. It says no one knows the hour. What does it mean? Not the angel in heaven. Oh, sorry. From the beginning. Sorry, yeah. From the beginning. No one knows the hour. Yeah, what does it mean? It, it, it means no one knows. Okay. No one knows but the then, clarity or no then, one knows? Yeah, but then you have to interpret it in please, the... Please, please, please. Let's start Peter, wait, wait. Slowly, 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 slowly. He wants, he wants, he wants to get you... He, he wants to, to fourth point, dissect it for you. Point. Of that day and of that hour, no one knows. What does it mean? No one knows the clarity or no one knows it at all? No at all, at all, yeah. So knowledge here means total absence of it. Absolutely. Or yeah. just the clarity. Like you might know actually, but it's not clear when. What is it? So when, when he says when, when, um, what was it? Of that day, of that hour, no one no knows. One knows. The, this no, that's is in the clarity sense. No, Are you sure? No, no, so some no, people know. Um, well, Look, that's not, that's no, of that words. day, no, of that hour. If it's, no, 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 you're jumping. I'm not, I'm not jumping because it. Start with the first point. Yeah. No one knows. Yeah. Now, is there someone who does know? There are different, there are different um, views on this in Christianity of this verse. So I can are you saying the word views. no is different in this you could, text? I I'm not saying that that is the, that is the perfect interpretation. I'm, I'm just saying there I'm are different asking, interpretations. I'm not asking for an interpretation. Just go, because, just, it's, because it's like. Peter, I'm asking you to tell me the text. Don't interpret it, just tell me what it means. In, in simple English, in simple English. Level. It's then in simple English. You can go by, okay, yeah. I need to interpret it. If I, if I, if I, if, yeah, of course, I'd have to interpret it in the, um, in the rest of the. Uh, so let's start with the meaning. What does it say in the first place? No one knows. Does that mean someone do know? Clarity or, uh, or no, I uh, absolute? At, I need to look at the Greek, because I've seen that the Greek, when you look at the but Greek. But you talk about the Greek for the other one, but you haven't looked at the Greek for this one. No, okay. I've heard. I've heard that the Greek for this one, it, it's been used by Paul. To, it, um, no one knows the other. Let's, let's let's sort it out once and for all. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. You, you want to in Koine Greek? I mean, it's Koine Greek. I believe that Paul uses the same uses the same terms in um, uh, in the character sense. That's why there's the interpretation that. But, but we're not talking about Paul. Character. We're talking about Jesus yes, here. Yes, talking about the way it's used. That, no, that it can be used in this way. And there's also another interpretation, which is that. It's the, it's Before you go into interpretation, let's understand. Nature. Let's understand the yeah. first yeah. point. That will show you how your apologetic answers are totally inadequate. Okay. So, yeah. first time I'm looking at it. Let's have a look what it says. No one knows. Yeah. yeah. Oiden. So how many usage of this word is this? Let's go back to the beginning. Concerning that day, no one on that hour yet knows, not even angels of the heavens. Not the sun. Not the sun, if not the father. So the knowledge K claim is about one time used here. Oh, wait. Yeah, one time used. One time. What does it mean? Someone knows or no one knows? Yeah, but when you interpret it in the rest of the Gospels, you can see. Go and interpret and, it. And, and does in the does that it no be, one know or there someone do know? That, 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 for example, Paul uses it in the character sense. Peter, Paul Peter, you Peter you go into Paul. Peter. No, you ask you ask it for it. It's Fine. Used, Fine. Fine. It's so, used in the so sense my question Paul, so to you know. is: yeah. Does that mean someone does know? Maybe more than one people know. Maybe twenty people. Maybe one million people know. Well, Jesus would know. So that, that means, and he says, not even the angels. Do the angels Jesus know? know? Jesus would know in terms of okay. knowledge, not the clarity. Let's understand yeah. it. What about the angels? Do they know? Uh, the angels would not know. The angels, how depending, do you on whether, get... depending on whether you believe that the angels, um, how, well, in terms of heaven, that they're outside space and time, they could have knowledge of it. 
According to this verse, yeah, to the end of the in, in declaration, that's why you can interpret it in different ways. I'm Don't be philosophical about do it. Do the end just know? It's, it's an important it's an yeah. important Peter, so do the Peter, know? Peter, Peter, according to the verse, do look, the angels know? Uh, just Peter, yeah. sorry, yeah, sorry. Look, I'm older, you have to take me by my, how the way I see it. Yeah. According to this verse, I want to understand, according to this verse, do the angels know or not? According to the verse. According to, according to just the verse, no. No, okay. okay. How do you get that point that they don't know? From where? What's the clue? Because it says it in the verse. But it, it says, says it, it says no one knows first. And then yes, angels. If you're just looking and then at that the one verse, yeah, you, could, you would understand So that. in this verse, yeah. we can understand yeah. that yeah. The only the Father knows. Only the Father knows, yeah. Right. In that verse, yeah. Right. In that verse, yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. the question I was asking you, then I will let you continue. Yes. Is Jesus self-sufficient and independent? Yeah, but that's why that's why I was saying just in that verse. You'd have to look at the rest of the I'm not verse. asking you to consider on this verse. Uh, in entirety total, the Bible, entirety, entirety. Is Jesus self-sufficient and yeah, independent? Jesus is God. Jesus, Jesus is God, so he's self-sufficient. No, no, no. Is he self-sufficient? Divine nature is self-sufficient. Do you know what self-sufficient means? He's not, he's not dependent. On who? On anyone. Is he dependent on the Father? For his existence. Let, 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 oh, sorry, sorry. Let, sorry. Check. Is he dependent on the Father? Eternally generated from the Father. So no, 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 that's not, that's not the, no, that's question not the is, question, is Peter. The that's not the question, Peter. L listen. Is he dependent? On is the he father? dependent uh, on the Father? Or is he self-sufficient? So either one of the because two. Because self-sufficient means he's not dependent on the Father. Independent. I'm asking for a clarity now, even though my previous statement well, is they're both God, clear. So, it's, so, they're both God, so, so look, if I say Jesus is self-sufficient, mm. I understand that means that he is not dependent on the Father. But I want to clarify to you, from you, if he is self-sufficient, is he independent of the Father? He's, n he's not independent of the Father, no. He's not in then he's not self-sufficient. You can't have it both ways. I mean, how how can you have someone because dependent? Because self-sufficient means... They're, they're distinct. They're not, wait, wait. Do you know what self-sufficient means? Independent of everything. He self doesn't need sufficient. anyone. Sufficient by self, not yes, by yes. him, not by you. Yeah, but when in our, in our theology, there's different. There's I'm different asking about your persons. theology. Yes, yes, but you're I'm asking me. Asking about the asking meaning of the term self-sufficient. Yes, if self this the brother, literal, listen, the literal yeah. if, meaning. If this sheikh is self-sufficient, meaning sufficient by himself, is he dependent on me? No. You? No. Anyone? No. Good. If Jesus is self-sufficient, sufficient by himself, yeah. is he dependent on the Father? Uh, he can't be. No. Right. So now, he doesn't need the Father he even to exist. His, div his divine nature is not dependent on the Father. Look, if he is not in need of being dependent on the Father, that means even if the Father did not exist, he would exist. Because that's what it means, being self-sufficient. If the Father didn't exist, Jesus would exist. Do you accept? Yeah, but they're different. So you're misconstruing the, the, what, what we believe is the Trinity. I'm questioning no, your because, belief makes sense or not. No, so no. So you in your belief, is it possible that the Son could exist without the Father existing? The Son could exist. No. There you go. The Son but is dependent the, on yeah, the Father. Yeah, the Father. Yeah. Case it's closed. It's an, yeah, I leave it to you. Um, Barakallahu He's Barakallah not God Fik. because he's not self-sufficient. Okay. okay. Barakallahu Fik. Okay. You see, you see the thing. The, when the, you what say, I to clarify, cl that, clarify it with me. Clarify it. Is with that, me. Basically, from, if you look at it from um, Trinitarian, uh, Trinitarian's perspective, that in in a sense the divine the divine nature is not um, is not dependent because it's um, God. So you got have you, you have God the Father, God the Son. But, but where do you get where they do you get that dependent. He is God, Peter? Where do you get it from he that He is God? Claims to be God. Claims to be God. Uh, give me an an, an an ambiguous statement from Him where John He said that He is God. John 8:58. What does it say? He says, "Before Abraham was, I am." Look, what is Ishari and then, A? And, Isha then, and then John 17, he says that you, you shall glorify the Father no. look, as you glorify, look, you glorify me as you glorify look, the Father. Look, so you say I am is God. Is that what you want to say? Yeah. yeah? Now take now take I am and switch it and put God instead of it. Before Abraham, no, the name what are you going to say? Be, God, before no, Abraham, the, God. What Jews believed as God was Yahweh. That was the name that the Jews believed. That's, that, that, that's not a Yahweh. name. Look, no, the Jews. In, in the Exodus Jews. 3, God, God revealed himself as Yahweh. Look, look. I look. am, I am that I am. I am that yeah, yeah. I am. Yeah, and then I am and then that I am. Verse, it doesn't mean I am. Verse, it, and then in the next verse, he says, Tell them. You know, the blind man. Tell them, I am has sent you. Okay. 
that's when Moses asked him, who shall I yes, tell them? Who shall I tell them? Yeah. Said, I am has sent you. Okay. Now, when you go to before Abraham was, I am. Yeah. Change, change, change I am into Yahweh. What would you say? Sorry? Before Abraham, Yahweh. Before Abraham, Yahweh. Uh, no, no. If you, what I am asking you, yeah. I am, it's, it's allegedly, it's the name of God, isn't it? Yeah, it's allegedly, it's yeah. Okay. Refer to in Genesis, yeah? Okay, in Exodus. Exodus. Okay. Now, when G when Moses asks asked God, said, "Who shall I say that sent me?" He said, "I am." Okay. Tell them my name is I am. Yeah. All right. Now I want you, in John eight fifty eight, to change to change I am into Yahweh, and read the and read the, and read the verse. Before Abraham was Yahweh. Before Abraham was Yahweh, does it make sense to you? Yes, but it's like, you're still basically saying Jesus doesn't make sense. What I'm trying no, no, to no, say no, I'm saying Jesus, to yeah, you, I'm you, saying to you yes, that because, because it's not, it's not saying, oh, um, before Abraham, it's not, when you read it, it's not, it's not in the sense that, oh, before Abraham was, I am God. It's the sense that because God is being, when he's, when the name I am comes God from, is a being. No, God is being itself. Ah. God is being itself. So that's why it's I am, not, um, not any other random name. That's what I am because it's, it's in the sense of being. It doesn't need to. It doesn't need yeah, to but read God well. says it I am Yahweh. Well. You know how many times Jesus uh, uh, Jesus said I am the life. So I am. I am. I. I am yeah, this. I am you that. Exodus, you can just say you can use the same argument. Oh, it doesn't make sense because he says I am has sent you. Or I am. I am it doesn't make no, it, it doesn't no, make no, sense no. when you read it. Did you know that the blind man said I am? So so is is the blind man God? Yes, but you also have to look at what the, how the Jews reacted. Is when when the Jews reacted to what he said, they picked up uh, rocks to stone him because they accused him of blasphemy for comparing himself to God. Look, if to say that before Abraham was, I am, yeah. you know, everyone else was because God has created everyone at the beginning. Yeah. So, so. But basically, what he's saying is when he's saying before Abraham was, I am, he's saying that he had, he's saying that he existed before Abraham. Now, and look, that, and then I am also, um, this, this verse, this yeah. verse would not, doesn't give you credit to, to prove his de uh, deity. That's one verse that we can use that, that, yeah. that shows well, uh, you better, example, Look, it's, John, an, it's, John it's ambiguous. For example, how do the, you this verse, the how Peter, do you the Father? Peter, allow, yeah, yeah, sorry, let's sorry, allow yeah, each yeah, other, yeah. yeah. I asked for, I have to, I have to go see yeah, no, no problem. I have asked for an ambiguous, Verse. So yeah. If you're for, this if one you is Jesus ambiguous. Say, if you want Jesus to say, "I am God," I am God. I am God. No, 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 no. It say those uh, just words. I am God. I am God. Just I am it God. Say that. It doesn't say in Jesus' words. It never says I am God. You know, you know, in the Bible, he was God. called. He was called words. the prophet. He, he, he even himself said, yeah, but there's other, there's "A prophet is not. A prophet is not uh, welcome in his own uh, town." Yeah, in, in the um, yeah, in the prophecies. Yeah. Sorry. Can I yeah, yeah. Take the call. Yeah, Thomas. I'm going to leave I'm going to leave like in 5 minutes. Oh, the train got to 75. What at, uh what station? What the one we were at? Do you want to come here and then we'll walk on to uh the uh, Hyde Park corner station? Cuz it, it's a different line so it won't it will still be on. Yeah, I'll go to Kelsen and then I'll just go to Kesh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't uh I don't know. I might just I might just go to um Kelsen and then have my Kesh. I might just go to Kesh. Then have my Kesh before I go. Yeah, I haven't gone but I might see later if there are any other masses and then I'll just go to one day, maybe in Bali. Yeah right. If you come, if you come see this point with me, then I'll just we'll go, we'll go in. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. It's okay. Uh, so, like, for example, you, there are other verses that um, would allude to Jesus being God as well. So, like, for example, in John 17, a lot of Muslims will use this um, 
Yeah, John 17, 3. Yeah, but then if you read the verses before and after, it's, I mean, it's pretty well, well, Have you read the verses before? Yes, after? yes, yes. It says glorify, the, glorify me as you glorify the but, but But you know, you know in the Old Testament, in, uh, in the Old Testament, uh, you've mentioned the verse with the glory I had with you before, yeah? Now, in the Old Testament, in Isaiah, you will see that God says that I share my glory with no one. Yes, because, yeah, because we yeah, believe in I the oneness of God. Yeah, and we I share. Jesus is God. So that's why we believe in the Trinity. Yeah, do, but, do, you but, where, do you understand that's why we but, believe but, in the Trinity? But, you know, I can give you so many verses where uh, I can give you a verse right now. God is not a man that he can lie. Yeah, yeah, but God is not a man that, that he can lie. If you read that in the context of the verse, not of the um, of what it's talking about, it's because basically, um, uh, what was it, Numbers well, why 19, not? Numbers yeah. 23, well, why not? Numbers why 23, not? 19. It was because basically, the um, I've forgotten what it was, but it was he, when he's saying God is not a man that he should lie. It's in Hosea. Talking. I believe it's in Hosea. I think, I think it's Numbers 23, 19. But anyway, we go back to... Look, for example, here where he says, when Jesus had spoken, this is John 17. You have to read it for me yeah, because my eyesight is. So it uh, says, this is John 17. When Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted his up, he lifted up his eyes to, to heaven and said, Father. So this is why I was asking before, yes. like, can can Jesus be a Muslim if he calls? Him? Yeah, but Father, but, but to be honest with you, because I didn't finish, because you know, I've heard Father. Some people say that no, God no. is not the Father. Yeah, but, but 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 you know, you know, if you say Father, the, the Father, God used to be, God is the Father, God is the Father for so many. You know, yeah, he said to Jacob, he said to yeah, Jacob, you are my firstborn. Yeah. You are my firstborn. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you understand? Heard, so. So, so, so the question, the term saying, father, yeah. the term father yeah. used by Jesus, it doesn't mean, like even now Christians, they call yeah. God the father. They call God the father. Yeah, the father. The, no, yeah. the, the yeah. father, my father, uh, our, look, yeah, in the, our father, our father, our father yeah. in heaven, yeah, yeah. our father, yeah, yeah. you know, Abina, Abina, uh, Abi, uh, uh, yeah. Abina, uh, in Aramaic, Abina, so, so, oh, Abuna, so, so, so this, this term of our father, it's not just specific for Jesus. It's not just specific for Jesus, and that's a hint. Hint, yeah, hint just, it doesn't. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Yeah. The, yeah, the yeah, reason why we say he is a Muslim because he submitted his will yeah. to God. You know, when he was when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. I agree with you in the sense that if you look at a ling, from a linguistical um, perspective, not just Muslim, from a linguistical. Because Muslim means to submit one's will to God, and I believe that Jesus did submit his will to God. Yes. So, yeah, so in there, yeah, in he there, he's a Muslim. Yeah. In that sense, in that sense, I yeah. I can agree so he is a Muslim. Yeah. Anyway, back to this. Yes. So back. He said, when Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, "Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that the Son may glorify you." So he's he's basically saying, oh, "Yeah, glorify, glorify yes. me as I glorify yes, you." Yes, as I glorify you, which is since you, have, which since you is, have given him authority over all flesh. Yeah, so authority. Who has, who has authority over all flesh? But God. Yeah, f finish, finish the. Yeah. To give eternal life to all whom you have given him, and this is eternal life that they know you, the only true God in Jesus Christ, whom, whom you have you sent. Have sent yeah? I, grew, I don't, I don't disagree that. Uh, yeah. God's so, 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 yeah. you know, let, let me just explain. You know, in verse number three. You know, only yeah. in Greek, in Greek, it means monos. monos. Okay. A monos in Greek, you can see, you can look at yourself, yeah. yeah? Need, a monos means exclusivity, Peter. Exclusivity. So it does, it's not like only, but see, yeah, uh, only. I understand, I understand it. Because it's just like when I see when I see Muslims use that verse, and then I look at the rest of the verses, I just I no, feel but, a bit but, skeptical. But I I I, I I took you I took you to where he says to where he says like. Yeah. Uh, my my glory i share with no one i'm so sorry he's calling me again yeah yeah listen listen if you have to go you go i have to go to, I have to go to mass listen really it was nice a pleasure me. talking really to nice you me. if you come next week i'll be here if you have Hopefully. time i don't think i won't be here next week i'm on holiday okay I'll try you enjoy your holidays You're very and nice. no bless problem you. peter subhanak allahumma wa bihamdik nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik